Thanks for watching this DSystems tutorial. In this video we'll cover on how to integrate DePos module with D inventory. This video is based on the assumption that you have already uploaded all your products you're selling into D inventory. If you're not familiar with uploading or creating products, you can watch a separate video tutorial called Product Management. Navigate to the Integration tab and select D Point of Sale. Click the plus sign where you need to add a store name and click Connect to POS. In the Setup tab, you will have a few mandatory setup parameters. A full description of the required fields can be found in our knowledge base. The inventory will capture payments made against sales in POS and will automatically add payments to created sale tasks. If you want Deer to create these payments, you need to map an account from Chart of Accounts which can receive payments. If an account is not selected, payments will not be created. Please make sure you have an account in Deer for each possible payment method available in POS. You cannot use the same account for multiple payment methods. Once done, click Save and proceed to Quick Keys tab. Quick Keys will make the checkout process faster by enabling easy access to your most popular products from the cell screen of your register. Simply click the plus sign and enter the Quick Key template name, then click Save. Continue to now add products to this key by either brand, category or tag. We will look at how these keys are displayed and paused later in this tutorial. Proceed to Outlets tab, here we can add a new outlet and register. Start by clicking the plus sign next to Outlets heading to start adding a new outlet. Fill in all the required info and click Save. Just remember that outlets are linked to locations in D inventory, so if you wanted to add a new location for an outlet, you will need to first navigate to Settings, Reference Books and select Locations and Bins. You cannot use the same location for multiple outlets. Once I have added my outlet, I can now start adding my registers. Just click the plus button next to register details and fill in all the required info, then click save. You can now go to the user management tab. From here we can add all the users. Simply click add user button and enter username, select role, outlet, then hit add. The user will now receive an invitation email to access pause. Users that access pause for the first time, we need to use generic password that you indicate in the setup tab. Now this info will all be available to them within their invitation email that they will receive. They will be prompted to change their password to a unique one upon accessing pause for the first time. Moving over to the catalog tab, here you can individually list or delist all of your products. So for example, if you want to list products that are not currently listed, just click on the product in question and click list on dear pause. Now this method is fine if you only want to list a couple of products. Now if you wanted to add a whole new product line for example, you would instead use the bulk listing feature. Navigate to the bulk listing tab, from here we have a few options to choose from. I can list a new category, family or list all products with a particular tag. I'm just going to select the new family of products I have added recently and click list for bulk listing to commence. I can now proceed to access my POS system from the setup tab by clicking on a link which would take me to the login screen. Here I need to enter POS name email address and password and then click login. Here we can see our quick keys with our most popular products. I can use a barcode scanner to scan items and I can also type in an SKU or item name to find a particular product. I can then add a customer for loyalty purposes and continue to add products to my order. Click pay, select payment method and continue to either email or print the receipt to complete the sale. If I go back to Dear Inventory, I'll be able to see all pending sales under the Sales tab. If I have no consolidation method selected, I'll be able to process the sales right away. The Log tabs will show all previously processed orders, which you can open at any time if required. Lastly, this slideshow shows some of the popular hardware devices used with Dear Pos. Starting from left, we have MPOP, which is an all-in-one pod solution that includes a receipt printer, cash drawer, and a stand for an iOS or Android tablet device. In the middle, you have the option to mix and match. You can use the Star Bluetooth printer, complemented by a Star Cache drawer and a Socket mobile scanner, which can be used on a PC, Mac, and an iOS or Android tablet device. You can find Star product distributors by going on their website shown above. And the very last unit is the Clover Station for our US-based customers, which comes with a screen, built-in payment terminal, and a printer. To get your hands on the Clover Station, just visit their website shown above. Next page covers all the current integrated payment solutions available with Dear Pause. 
There are currently two, which are Square and Tyro. For more information on acquiring card readers and payment terminals, please visit their website. Now this is all for getting started with Dear Pause. If you have any further questions, please contact support at dearsystems.com for any further assistance.